My next guest has been warning about a new housing bubble. Let me welcome back to the program Peter Schiff, the CEO of Euro Pacific Capital. You've got to be tired of talking about this stuff. Yeah, well, first of all, you know, there's so many holes in the old bubble that I don't think the Fed is going to succeed in fully inflating it again. But that's what they're trying to do. I mean, they never learn from their mistakes. And as a matter of fact, the federal government is more involved now in the housing market than it was while the last bubble was inflating. And the Fed's monetary policy is even more reckless. And the Fed is specifically saying that its goal is to artificially prop up real estate, to get people building houses we don't need, to get people buying houses they can't afford. And how are we ever going to stop the stimulus? The Fed has created an economy that is completely dependent on this monetary heroin. They can never stop, of course, until we die of an overdose. I think the last time you were on, we were talking about, you know, QE3 or QE4 and $40 billion a month. Now we're at $85 billion a month. Yeah. So $40 billion bad, yeah. doubling down yeah. and then some. <laughs> Worse. Yeah. And you've got people on Wall Street trying to figure out when they're going to reduce uh, the $85 billion. They're not even thinking about that. They're more likely to increase it to $100 billion a month, $125 billion a month. The more drugs we take, the more we need to stay high. You know, so the Fed's going to keep on doing this. Meanwhile, they're pretending that they're going to stop when they forecast inflation to be 2.5%. They're never going to forecast that because it's already higher than 2.5%, and they don't care. Whatever happened to that whole thing of, of doing this until the unemployment rate drops below 7% to 65 when we're basically at a permanent floor of seven with no, no way of reducing the unemployment rate. So that old number of we're going well, to do this till the unemployment rate is satisfactory, that kind of went out the window. Well, they don't have to worry about that because the unemployment rate is not going to drop uh, substantially below 6.5%. And if it does, it won't stay there. And, you know, we're still at 77 But the only reason it's at 77 is because millions of people have left the labor force and millions more are settling for part-time jobs instead of full-time jobs. So what do you think in the future? you think we're going to see a, an interest rate increase? <laughs> Eventually, we're going to see an interest rate spike. But before that, I think we're going to see a dollar collapse. All right, Peter, thank you so much for stopping by. Come